Hey guys, welcome to another commentary. Today I will be looking at Brady Tennell or Tennell. I'm not entirely sure. My gut tells me Tennell. Um, and as I am an expert uh, and professional commentator, we'll go with that unless she calls me and tells me that's not how to say her name. Um, but we're looking at the women's figure skating at the U.S. Nationals 2020, which happened in January, or at least the videos were all uploaded in January. So there we go, right before COVID, so she seems very happy. Uh, little does she know, the following months are going to be garbage, but that's okay. So here we go. You won't hear the music, she's doing a medley. Um, you can always look up this uh, on YouTube to hear the music, but I like to cancel all that out because uh, mostly the music just overpowers my own voice, and I would rather hear that instead. So we'll start it up. Here she comes. She's saying hi to the audience. Swimming around. Good, good. Fixing her hair. She glanced at the camera right there. Good job. Just to get our attention. Here she goes. Oh, she's like, oh, my back hurts to fool us, because she's about to do something incredible, I bet. And music has started. She's a little playful. Get some little shimmy in there. Tippy toe, tippy toe. I think those are the um, correct terms for the movements that she's doing. She's very playful, and I like this little finger thing she's doing. She's like, hold on, hold on. I love how she's incorporated all of this, like Geico and Ollie's barbecue and stuff. Here we go, a triple into a triple something else. Good. Bargain outlet, sorry. Ollie's may have barbecue. Ooh, a high kick. Look at that that Moulin Rouge energy she's serving me. Very nice. She's throwing up. She threw it up and then looked at it. This is a performance, you guys. She's not just doing this. She's performing it. Here she goes. Leaning into this and she's doing a triple lutz into a triple toe something. Well, she only did the triple lutz. Triple lutz, triple toe. I'm reading the screen because last time it had it up there, but I was just making stuff up. This twist is beautiful. Um, it's just, she keeps going. I like it. Oh, and there she goes, right up into that standing split, uh, double kick thing. Here she goes. She stopped. She's stomping. She did an earth bending stance, and she's coming in strong. I like her. That sparkle is giving me life. Here she comes. Here she comes. And serving me a double axle rise. About now. There you go. Good job. It's a layback spin four. Or a quad layback spin or something like that. I think this screen is just making me sound stupid, so I'm just going to go back to making up these moves. There's a lunge and a ha and a throw and a spin. And that was a beautiful combination. She said, boom. Serving me twisty tornado, giving me twister energy right there, throwing it out. This audience, I can tell, is just mesmerized, and I am too. Beautiful. She's going, see, I love how she's turning clockwise and then counterclockwise without falling. There she goes, ha, kick into an interesting spin. She jumped into another spin. That's a, that's a contortion Cirque du Soleil spin right there. And she's doing a Kill Bill move right there. That's a T-spin, is how I think it's supposed to be called. And she's, oh, I love that wild kind of I'm drunk thing that she did with her hand. Let's go back and look at that real quick. She's coming into that very control. Hold on, hold on, girl. Hold your liquor. So see how controlled she is? And that's a definite letter T. And then when she goes down into the crouch, she just throws her hand up like she just, you know, did a couple shots. There she goes into the tequila spin right there. Look at that. Gorgeous. Into a kick kick. Pamcheco pulling up like you're trying to get your shoe off, but then she fooled us and she ended it right there. That is so good. Did you see that? I love that last part where she's like, I'm going to take off my shoe. Ended the performance right there. Very good. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. She said, thank you very much for coming to my show. Love you guys. Thank you guys too. Everybody over here. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Excellent. And you guys over there are pretty great. Love it. And I like you guys too. Thank you so much. 
I love the way they just are so gracious. And here comes her staff. She's so independent, picking up her teddy bears by herself. And some flowers. She said, thank you. Thank you, Julie. Everybody's throwing stuff at her. That's a little dangerous, but that's okay. She's coming out, saying hi to this lady. That must be like her coach or her mom or something. I hope she knows her. Otherwise, she's just a very nice lady. Just saying hi to anyone. Here's the replay with some slow motion. She said, boom, that looks like a triple into a double or a triple. She's going, all right. Make sure you get your insurance at Guy Club, buy a Toyota. That product placement is so beautiful. She's like, boom, boom. She's so proud. I'm so proud of her. The sequins and stuff is so good. All right, now she's waiting with this gentleman. He's handsome. He gives me some Liam Neeson energy, right? Not when he turns his head, but just about right there, maybe. He said, I have a particular set of skills. And she's waiting for her score with her cute little bear, or whatever that is, a puppy. And then here's this lady who's kind of like, I'm bored at the moment, but you did a great job, so thanks for that. Thanks for not embarrassing America and stuff. That's what she's whispering underneath her breath. So that's what a good coach does. She, you know, she holds the praise back until you get the score. So, come on, girl, where's the... Okay, so she needs a 70.42, and she got a 78.96, which puts her in first place, which is what she fully deserves. That was a beautiful routine for a beautiful person and a stunning athlete. So well done, honey. You go, girl. All right, that was riveting. I am so excited to have been able to comment on that for you guys. And this is me signing off.